Hey, what's up, everybody? It's February 11th, 2021 in Big Bear Lake, California. This is just gonna be uh, kind of a two video in one. We're just gonna do like a calm before the storm. It's not much of a storm, but also so you guys can see what snow is left in town. And um, basically, at the end of this video, we'll be going into the, the parts of town that have more snow so you can see where that's at. But I want you to get the overall you know, perspective of what, of, of what town looks like right now. So you don't waste your time coming up here. Of course, we want you to come up here. We want you to come up here because we need you guys to come up here and spend your money up here or else we don't get the the beautiful experience of actually living here so we owe it all to you thank you um a lot so uh we need you guys to come up here have a good time our businesses need you guys love you guys um i mean it's all built around you guys so um yeah i mean it's not like this is any more my home than your home just just because like i have a PO box here that that doesn't mean anything this is just as much your home as mine so but anyway we have less than an inch of snow coming guys so be very very prepared um, <laughs> seriously if I was in Mammoth doing these videos I would be so hesitating to do this right now because I'd probably find myself on like America's Funniest Home videos talking about like a calm before the storm quarter inch quarter inch is coming it's coming <laughs> you know like I don't know I don't know but anyway oh look at that view right there look at that view right there I mean come on man that's beautiful that's those that's a uh, bear mountain ski resort wow and then to the right is snow summit but you can't really see it too well right there and the mountain at the very top in the very back you can't see it that's San Gorgonio a lot of years that mountain has snow year-round it's typically in some of the shadier spots, obviously, but uh, yeah, I think the summit's like 11 and a half thousand feet. Pretty crazy cool. Just right behind these mountains, right here. There's a valley and then it goes up again to San Gorgonio. So, this is the North Shore and Big Bear City part of town. We'll get to the other side in a second. Hey, what's up, you guys? That's the airport right there. We're right on the runway. That's that's the taxi right there. But yeah, cool. Uh, this is called um, what is this? This is Greenway. Oh, watch out, buddy! Jeez, crazy lady. All right, so this is basically like the middle of Big Bear City. This is where Community Market is. Community Market's a very uh, old store. It's actually one of the first, if not the first store up here, actually. Yeah, those of you who want to come up here and check out the roads, everything's cool, man. You guys will be good. You guys will be good. Some of the side streets are still a little bit bumpy, but you'll be good. So, this is my favorite Mexican place up here. Cocina de Mexico. Yeah, what a beautiful day. Look at the temperature though. I mean, talk about warm. I guess you can't see that. It's 56. 56 degrees. And we have less than an inch of snow coming. I'm grateful for anything, but still. I wish we would get more. And hang on a second. So I just found a new spot in town. Never knew this existed. This is at the very end of the street called Hillendale, which is in Big Bear City. I think like there's a restaurant on the corner called uh look at that. That that's a that, private road that goes way up there there must be some big old mansion up there or something because it's not like government wow guys that's freaking awesome back there man oh, oh. it has me intrigued but it says no trespassing so i'm not gonna go uh. is a drone trespassing so i just want to i like i just want to check it out if there's like naked people i'm not gonna like record <laughs> you know, I don't know. I don't know. 
I just don't want to, you know, invade other people's privacy like that by flying on like private property like that. But that's a that was a huge chunk of land, and maybe when I'm flying my drone next time, just for one of that's what I'll do for one of our our videos. If I'm flying over that area, I'll just keep that in my mind, and I'll just check it out for myself just to just so I know personally. Just like I'm sure you guys wouldn't want like me to like or <laughs> me to tell everyone about where your big beautiful estate is that no one knows about and I've lived here five and a half years never knew that area existed and they probably planned it that way so I don't want to ruin it for them but anyway yeah that was really cool guys I'm telling you if you, you know that's what I need to start doing is literally driving to the very end of these streets up and down to the very end and then we can see what's what's cracking but yeah man this is uh, this is awesome Oh, okay. We've just hit the... We've, oh, hello. Cheerio. You're coming right, I'm going left. Imagine that. Alright. Guys, this place is just so awesome. There's so many just adorable little houses, man. And then sometimes there will be like a freaking massive house right next to just some little adorable like Santa's Village type house. It's really cool. There's not like, you know, like a... Well, actually, yes, there is. I was gonna say, there's not like a like a wealthy part of town, but what am I talking about? Yes, there is. There's, there's, a, actually, there's a couple different ones. But in those areas too, you will find, you will find um, like, a, gosh, I, I just can't think right now. So this is gonna be a horrible term, but less pretentious type homes because I don't think it's pretentious when you work hard and you earn earn your money like uh, you, you know you dedicate yourself invest a lot of money in school um, you know wasn't out you aren't you're not out partying on Friday and Saturday night when everyone else is you're just mastering your craft or whatever the heck you're doing and that's uh, yeah that's uh, it's you know I admire those people that work their butts off and then earn something like earn something great, at least to them, you know, what's awesome is that not everyone cares about the material things, not everyone cares about a big house, not everyone cares about this or that, but, so, we all are individuals, and whatever we choose to be happy with, to get us through this life that we are all dealing with, <laughs> you know, we're all fed a poop sandwich on this planet, it's just how we deal with it, you know, all bottom line, it's just how we deal with it. I used to just, you know, just blame everything and blame everybody, and I was the victim always. And it gave me a total great excuse to not do anything in life, except blame everybody. But here's one of the snow play parks for all you guys that love to go sledding. You can even hear them. So this is on the corner of Division and Big Bear Boulevard, you guys, okay? For the parents. back on Big Bear Boulevard. Only reason why I'm keeping the camera going here is so you guys can see what traffic is like at the moment. And then here's the snow play park. It's right next to that Motel 6 or Motel 7, whatever it's called. There's a, there's a lot of people there right now. But it's not bad. Like, you, you guys will have no wait. It'll be fun. That parking lot's usually full, so you guys would have no weight. And then this part of town right over here, this little like, I don't know, um, prairie area. This, this is my favorite part of town. It's just so beautiful. Waking up in one of those houses, just right on that prairie. Those houses used to be waterfront property, by the way. And they will be again someday here. So yeah, we're in between Division and Stanfield Cutoff. Yeah, man, I, I seriously, I seriously love that area right there. It's incredibly beautiful. 
anyway, hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are good. Okay. Yeah, it's amazing to think that this town is like a tourist destination for like 50 million people. That's like for like local people from L from the LA metro area all the way down to San Diego. And then on the, just the other side of this mountain range, you got like Victorville and Apple Valley and Hesperia and just all these places. Feeling, uh, Lucerne Valley. It's just, there's so much pop, well, Lucerne doesn't have much population, but there's a lot of population in this, like within like a 200 square mile area. Oh man, I'm telling you. So this is a place where a lot of them like to go. Because this is basically one of two 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 places you can go skiing up here or down here in Southern California. Two mountain ranges, basically. I think you, there's another place just north of the Grapevine, but I'm not sure. Anyway, yeah. There's Snow Summit on the right. This looks beautiful. towards where there's more snow. So the closer you get to these mountains right here, you're gonna get more snow. So let's see, we let people through here. Cause we're gonna take a little shortcut, yep, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. sound down pretty well. Alright. You guys like good prime rib? Captain's Anchorage. Man, phenomenal. 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 Okay, so we're basically gonna drive into these neighborhoods right here, or right over here. And then we're gonna exit by Snow Summit. But you'll be able to see in these neighborhoods, you'll be able to find some snow. Um, and I think this is just gonna take us on a little loop, but you know what, we don't do this one. We've never been on this in one of the videos, I don't think, so we might as well do it. So you guys can see what it's like if you're pulling into the neighborhood, you're like, oh yeah, I can see a little more snow. I think we can build a snowman over there. Yeah, yeah, kids, it's not too bad. And then the further you go, even though it's not a far distance, look at how awesome the house is. Even though it's not a far distance, like you're, you're gonna get into more and more snow just the closer you get to this mountain right up here. Look at how adorable this place is. My gosh, guys, just some freaking awesome houses. Look at that motorhome. Reminds me of Meet the Parents. All right, let's see here. Look at that house at the end of that drive. Wow, man. There's plenty of snow. Especially if you have an Airbnb or something like that. Or try to find one of the hotels that's closer to the mountain. So yeah, this is gonna take us back out, down and around. And then we're gonna go back up to hit Snow Summit. In between the houses right there. It's not too bad, guys. It's not too shabby. tired of where I live because <clears throat> it's just like after almost six years in that same spot yeah it's, it's really cool private I, I, I like it but it's just right above me it's just a canopy of trees like it's just so depressing it's always dark I 
want to be like, I want to have, you know, blue skies when I walk outside and not green skies. But anyway, we're going to take this street. Ponderosa. Up to... I don't actually think Ponderosa goes that far, so we're going to turn left on Evergreen. And then we're going to turn right on... Whatever it's called. <laughs> oh, did I just... Oh, no, perfect. It does. It does. It'll take me out. It should. Oh, man. Did I screw this up? That's really embarrassing if I did. I don't think I did, though. Oh, perfect. Crestwood. It's exactly where I want to be. Oh, look at that. That'd be fun right now. Crestwood takes us right up here against one of the ski runs. I'm gonna zoom in right there so you can see it. That's pretty cool. Alright. Alright, sorry about that. So yeah, so we are gonna continue past Evergreen. We're on Crestwood right now. And yeah, so there's there's still lots of snow on, on the lawns. All I was all I'm saying is that a lot of it has melted away, as you guys can see. And the snow that remains is just not like the most fun, I guess you could say. But then again, this type of snow might be easier to make snowmen. Like that, and like that, and like that. <laughs> There's snowmen everywhere. Hey, you snow bastard. Now this is Switzerland. This is right up against Snow Summit on one side of it, or basically up against Snow Summit. You can see how much more snow there is just, just up here. It's just a couple blocks. But just a couple blocks that way, there's like no snow left. It's pretty crazy. I hate walking in ski boots. It's the only thing I, like, you'd think that they would have figured something else out now, this many years later to make it easier to walk in ski boots, but nope. Check it out. Let's go check out Snow Summit right here. There's no one behind us right now. Oh, this is beautiful. I love that, man. We would go over there, but. <laughs> How can you avoid it though, right? Like, <laughs> you guys have a great day. Thank you. That was sweet of them. They were like bummed out that, that they were like, they felt like they interrupted my picture. And I'm like, dude, I don't want you guys to interrupt my picture. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. That, so that's why I said, I, uh, you know, how are you supposed to like, like, how could you not be in? Anyway, we're gonna go down here to Thrush. I think this dead end's on Thrush. But all of these are have beautiful views of the resort. Right there, boom. You're right on the resort. This street is Switzerland. On the other side of these little Airbnbs, whatever they are, is uh, Snow Summit. I can't imagine what these must go for though. Holy moly. It's gotta be crazy. It's gotta be crazy. for these few few people. There's a cool little area back there. But this is Thrush. Then over here, this is a really big camp. Uh, it's a huge camp that I'm sure a lot of you who live in Southern California have probably been to. Uh, let me see what it's called. See what it's called. That's one of the entrances. Like, but this is where I would drop my friend's girlfriend off for work. Um, and this was what's it called? 
something pines man i don't know anyway it's a big property just kind of like hidden away just like that one that we found earlier just hidden away and it's just a huge property though humongous acre upon acre upon acre of just beautiful land and yeah it's a big camp uh like uh like summer camp style thing you have all the activities every day you spend the night i think you're there for a couple weeks at a time i'm not exactly sure but anyway this is back to big bear boulevard no need to go big bear Boule <laughs> boulevard there's no, really no need to go back to the other side or over there i think you guys got the point but I just want you guys to be able to see where we have some snow and where we have uh, no snow. <laughs> it's pretty dry, like, like just a couple blocks away. It's Look at how drastic it is. It's just, it's a huge difference. It's pretty amazing. Sorry about that. We're on Brownie Lane now. I don't know if that doesn't mean anything to you guys, but we're on Brownie Lane. There's Summit Plaza. And there's a FedEx truck. Oh, there's a FedEx truck. All right, so this is what I refer to as one of the satellite parking lots for Snow Summit. This is the Brownie parking lot. Uh, when we have, like, especially fresh snow, you'll never see this parking lot not full for like a week or two afterwards. But now look at it, it's just empty. It's a good sign for you guys. Come up here like before this huge blizzard we get tomorrow morning between like 7 a.m. and noon. Careful guys, this half an inch of snow is gonna be devastating. All right. You know what, we'll go into Moon Ridge real quick since we're just right here and we'll check out, uh, we'll check out the uh, the whatchamacallit Bear Mountain Ski Resort love this place I made a video about that place so if you try to find it in my stuff I have to figure out like playlists and stuff like that and get that created help you guys out a little bit more you guys do a lot for me right? do a little bit more cut through one of the neighborhoods to get to Bear Mountain. When you guys come up here, you'll always see signs all along these streets that we're coming up to on the right that say like no uh, no ski resort access or stuff like like just like this. Here we go. But they pulled it aside since it's the end of the day, but no no ski area access. And so, you know, Obviously, this, this like this doesn't take you like to the ski resort. You got This is just taking me through the neighborhood. And so, yeah, I don't want you guys to think that that this will take you to the ski resort. But yeah, once again, the further or the closer we get to the mountain up here, the more snow we get into. And we are climbing, but not significantly. It's not a, a drastic climb. guys are right up against the national forest right here on on the right their their backyard like they see so many bears here but their their backyard is just look at this guys it's the it's the national forest there's nothing else behind them just awesome i'd like one of these these spots right here
Look at that. Look at that little mountain house. It's adorable. I wish I had more time to like be in the passenger seat and like ride around and check this place out. But I don't get time to do that. My first move through I did. But I was more interested in like the topography and stuff, not not really the houses and all that stuff like that. Anyway, here's the golf course and we are on Club View. The uh is right there, right behind us. But here's the golf course at Bear Mountain. Just beautiful. And obviously these houses are on the golf course right here. It's really beautiful. And there's a lot of Airbnbs right here on the golf course. And this is a good spot to get more snow also, you guys. So if you want to book an Airbnb and have a place that gets more snow in a beautiful part of town, this is one of them. Like, uh, try to find a place on, on the Moon Ridge Golf Course and you'll be stoked. But yeah, wow, look at these piles of snow. places on on the golf course i think that's like hole number eight no that's hole number nine my bad oh, oh. Look how beautiful that is that guy's about to drop in on the bowl uh or <laughs> on the bowl in the half pipe no he's not is he is he i don't know i don't know but here's bear you guys not too too crazy packed Okay. Thanks, buddy. I was going to let you through. Oh, look at that. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Seriously. And this run is still my favorite one right there. It's, it's like the easiest one, but it's the first ski run I ever went on in my life when I was like 11 years old. That's when my, my mom had a place in Lake Arrowhead besides the one that we lived in in Orange County. So we would go visit that place and then drive from there to go ski in the morning time. Like they're, they're, we'd have family there and stuff like that. So my mom never went skiing with me, but um, my brothers and stuff, family, friends, all that stuff. We would drive up here early in the morning from like Arrowhead in like blizzard conditions half the time. Cause we'd always time the trips when there's a snowstorm coming, you know? And thank you mom for doing that. I appreciate you. Cause she knows how much I love the snow. Yeah, we're in Moon Ridge. We're on Moon Ridge Road. Every time I see this sign, I think of Beetlejuice for some reason. I don't. I don't know why. Like uh, when they're on the model of the city, but it's like the model's full sized. I think. Well, yeah. I don't know, all those signs that light up, that's just for some reason reminds me of that movie Beetlejuice. I don't know why this is such a nostalgic uh, process of my mind right now because uh, right there, Beetlejuice is one of the first movies I ever remember. Um, <laughs> seriously, just, just the weirdest things, man. First music album that I ever got I was, I was four years, almost five years old. My next door neighbor, his name was Dylan. He was uh, four years older than me. Um, and it was Beastie Boys, Licensed to Ill. I, I think it was Licensed to Ill. It was uh, the album with the airplane on the, on the front cover kind of crumbled up. I mean, seriously, like that was, Obviously in my mom and dad's cars I'm 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 like listening to like opera and like classical music and stuff. But for my friend next door, like yeah, it was uh Beastie Boys License to Ill. And uh and by like six I had like that song Paul Revere just completely just like memorized because oh man. Anyway, stupid story but yeah. Oh here's the zoo or that's the entrance. It's coming along. Sorry I didn't show you too much more. We'll look in the mirror. <laughs> there it goes. There goes the zoo. There goes the zoo.
So remember, if you're looking for more snow, drive as close as you can to the mountains, okay? Like, uh, the closer you get to any undulations, the more snow you'll find. But um, that's gonna be more so the case on this side of town. Big Bear Lake area. Don't go onto the North Shore in the Big Bear City part of town trying to find snow, because you won't. Anyway, you guys, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. You take care, and uh, I'll be posting a video tomorrow once it starts snowing. I'm gonna have to be up early. Thanks, you guys. I love you guys a lot. Thank you for everything you do for me. You have saved a life, believe it or not. You have saved a life. Um, you guys don't know the depths of, of where my mind was. Thank you. Thank you. Like, I, there's so much more that I have in my mind that I want to do for you guys. So, I love you guys. And in case I forgot, it's probably a little too late now, but, oh, geez, I, I already forgot the date. I think it's February 11th, 2021. It could be the 12th, but I'm pretty sure it's February 11th, 2021. Um, in Big Bear Lake, California. Thank you guys for the support. I just never imagined this would turn into this. It's crazy. I love you guys, man. And thank you for uh, for just showing some love to just a regular dude. I appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Boom, oh, there's one of my weather stations. Woo! It's broken though, but it still tells all the temperatures and everything. I just can't get a proper wind reading. And it wouldn't be proper anyway, because look at this canopy. I wish I had no canopy. When I moved here, that was my favorite part, but now it's like depressing. It's like living in Seattle, you just don't get any sun. <laughs> I, I love you guys.